Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Hunting where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed in the channel. So we're looking at CECL. This is the network you know, for the gig economy. CECL network is fully autonomous, managed, and operated by community members who are holders of the uh, CECL token. So um, with that said, according to my notes, this is a Cardano uh, project. project. Um, was not able to find an audit on this project, and I'm going to leave you a link in the description in regards to uh, what's going on concerning the launch. Uh, the team is not photodoxed, and I have not been able to find a certificate of KYC, you know, on this project, you know, either. So just be aware of that. Um, so moving forward, we see a number of different links, you know, here in the navigation bar. Uh, we get a buy now button and it join our telegram button as well so about the CISL network it aims to be the leading platform for the service provider to make money easier and faster technology is made providing services on demand so much easier with access to a smartphone not everybody has the opportunity to generate an income with blockchain technology we can take the next step in streamlining an endless array of services on demand from all types of cleaning cars um, etc to ride sharing errand running the list goes on and on if you provide or need a service on demand CISA will be a platform to use so we see in regards you know to tokenomics here um, what the token is you know the ticker is CNT total supply is going to be 300 million and then we see their token distribution information here and then you just match up the color you know to the section you know as well so um Again, like I mentioned before, you know, it's Cardano. And so moving forward, we see here the CISL D app has a built-in mechanism to resolve and vet sellers, which ensures honesty and integrity in services to be provided. CISL decentralized network is building an ecosystem for gig service providers to earn and make a living in a decentralized autonomous environment, fostering trust and innovation. So we have a button here for the Discord and for their Twitter social. And then taking a look at the roadmap here, um, we go back all the way you know, out here. Uh, however, we don't see you know like um, you know, timelines or anything, and this is not something you can't you know you can't go ahead and scroll or move this kind of from left to right. Um, it's just you know this is basically the roadmap, right? So we see developing the use case and basic concept, you know, develop proof of concept by thorough research and in-depth analysis of the gig economy, gig economy market and structure, team onboarding, uh, sketching the design and DAO structures you know, for the network, sampling the design and scaling the proof of concept, developing a launch pad, building a website for the CISO network, commencing a private sale to raise funds for the development of the, and this is not spelled correctly because it's supposed to be CEC, a CISL network ecosystem, list on exchanges, CMC, CoinGecko. Um, and I've mentioned this more and more in uh, projects that I've covered. It really should be submitting your application to CMC and CoinGecko just because, I mean, you don't know if you're going to get listed, you know, and you don't, you don't know when you're going to get listed is really the main issue. So if you submit the application, let's say in phase three of your roadmap, there's no guarantee that you're actually going to get listed on the exchanges in phase three either. So um, because obviously that's left up to CMC and CoinGecko when they decide to list a project, but you are in control of submitting the application. So if you're going to submit the application in phase three, you know, whatever phase you're talking about, then it makes more sense to me in my personal opinion to go ahead and just state that you're going to be submitting the application. So launch the DApp and onboard DAO governance body system and continues research and development collaborations and partnerships. So the first thing that's noticeable about this roadmap, we get new timelines, you know, so we need timelines, you know, on the roadmap. Um, it would be also helpful to know exactly, you know, what's in process. So, and what's already been completed, you know, so those things are helpful. And are we going to get any more development at the end of the roadmap? So anything that you can do as a, as a team to provide more, communication type details you know to uh, your roadmap then also um, reflect or demonstrate you know a, a high level of connectedness you know to the roadmap uh, i think it's helpful you know for anybody taking a look at uh, your project um, and maybe even at your roadmap you know looking at it for the first time so 
that's just my personal opinion there in terms of feedback uh, concerning the roadmap. So, so let's see a try D app, you know, so they got a cool Google Play and App Store buttons here. Um, and then you can download the white paper. So they got a button here uh, with the, and that'll just take you over to the white paper. So since we're talking about the white paper, let's take a look at it real quick. White paper is going to be 32 pages, you know, so a lot of different things to engage with you know, in terms of the white paper, a lot of information um, in regards, you know, to the white paper. So um, I do think that you know, when you take a look at a white paper, you definitely don't want it to be simply a rehash of what's going on on the main, you know, website. I think taking a look at this uh, at this white paper, this white paper does accomplish that. That you're simply not just you know rereading a bunch of information that they've stated, you know, on their website. So, granted, we did get to economics and we did see that, you know, but I mean. Like I said, the main thing I think you look for in a road or in a white paper is that you don't just simply want to see, hey, this is our white paper, and it's a, literally a copy of what they already put, you know, on the website. So, all right, um, meet the founder. So we see the founder here, Justin Howard, um, and some information about him, and then uh, um, their FAQ associated, you know, with the project. So, all right, so that's going to do it for me uh, in regards to the uh, Cecil Network project. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video and engaging with the content here on the channel today or whenever you know, you know whenever you're watching the video. Um, they do have a banner you know, scrolling across the page you know, in regards to um, the um, announcement um, concerning the sale of their token you know so uh, but again if you're somebody taking an interest in this project the best thing you can do one is to as always recommend beyond this video certainly take a look at any other content creators that are talking about the Cecil Network project get into the socials you know ask the team questions see what different you know what updates are being uh, you know, disclosed there in the community um, take a look at the docu documentation you know all these things do help to provide a much more complete picture in terms of what's going on with the project and it definitely helps you to operate from a much more informed uh, position uh, and perspective um, you know that should enable you know you to you know really consider what your level of participation may be concerning the project itself so as always ladies and gentlemen you guys have so many different options in terms of who you engage with you know on YouTube concerning crypto related content um, I'm a small channel and comparatively speaking to many, many other big channels. So, but I am humbled that you take time out of your day to listen to me talk about crypto. So, uh, if you're getting any value out of the channel and you think somebody else might be able to get some value too, by all means, please share the channel and encourage them to subscribe. So, um, but that's going to do it for me in regards to the Cecil Network project. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, you all enjoy the day.